Okie dokie. Hey, everybody. I'm back on again. And time for some more pinball. Um, so, kind of like yes, kind of like yesterday, um, I would say I got some good sleep. A good solid six hours. Laid down for my evening nap. Got a good, like it was a good solid two or three hours. I can't remember what time I laid down, but, but yeah, yesterday, uh, yesterday, kind of the same thing, but then after some odd time in, so I'm thinking it must have been sleep apnea or something. You know, the kind where, uh, where on paper, on paper, you, you got a good, you know, you got a good full day slash night sleep, but then you wake up still feeling like shit. So, like, something, you know, something happened, like you stopped breathing or, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, but yeah, otherwise I don't have a whole lot else to talk about. Um, just, uh, again, on paper, I got some good sleep, but... It could uh, it could end up being like yesterday and like part way in and just so, but we'll we'll see as the stream progresses. Um, otherwise it's pretty much gonna be the same as yesterday. Um, doing some Apex three, uh, just doing some journeys, uh, and then at some point later doing some randos, um, then hopping on over to Pinball Arcade, and then um, I think I think yesterday. Again, most because I was just just kind of out of it. Um, I think I did some did some pinball arcade, but decided to just just say fuck it, go on over to Zachariah since I didn't really have have a whole lot of energy to really focus into playing pinball arcade. So I just did some Zachariah too. So. Oh, also like usual, I do eat and drink when streaming. I'm starting off with a hard boiled egg. And what little grapes I had because I forgot, or I did a little bit of grocery shopping this morning, but the place I went to, their grapes really suck. Like, they don't, it's like they come in all all dirty and moldy. So, yeah, I ain't touching them. The one, the ones you get at Walmart where I don't, I don't, I don't want to go to on my nights off. I'd like to take a break from that place. They, um, their, their grapes are cleaner. Or at least, uh. The organic ones. Well, yeah, starting off with that. Oh, uh, man, you get this off. Leroy! Okay, so let me uh, put my fan on the floor real quick. Oh, also, if um, uh, not to be not to be an entitled asshole or anything like that, but uh, if um uh, today's stream was as dead as yesterday's, there is a chance that I might end up uh, cutting it off early. Um. Yeah, it just, again, with, uh, feeling crap, what, uh, as crappy as I was feeling yesterday, there just really wasn't po much point in, you know, continuing on, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about it later. So it should be fine here. So, I gotta fix my overlay real quick. Kind of mid tier in this one. Yeah, not a very. This table's not very conducive to survival mode. Yeah, kind of stunk on this table, but with a top score of 50 million, 
you really can't do much in this table on a time mode. You would need a normal normal mode just to be able to get something going. Yeah, I sucked balls on this one. Yeah, I sucked fucking donkey balls on this one. Oh god, I sucked ass. It's official. You will suck. Yeah, kind of the same on this one, too. You lose a lot of time if the ball drains, so, which happened to me quite a bit. Never fails. Let me go ahead and set the overlay back. Seven mil is a beatable score. Oh, AJ. Would you step into my office, please? Ah, uh, uh, Stan, I guess it makes no difference now. This one survived. Got a bit of an issue. Tree beard. There it is. You get it. Surprise! The real truth is, I do have big stuff going on. I think that's uh, pinball, either pinball FX or pinball M. Um, neither of which I have. Oh, getaway. If you can remind me after this table, I think I could pull it up and take a look. And here it is. I'm the decider. The decider! That is classic! I am loving it! I'm Wheels. Together we're Wheels and the Leg Man. You're the Leg Man.
We're running out of time. Truth is, I do have big stuff going on. Wait, what's this? It's a costume. And it's lovely. Damn, I look good in this. Something might go down somewhere in some way at some point in time. So look sharp. I'm Wheels. Shot here. Together we're Wheels and the Leg Man. You're the Leg Man. Go Team Smith. Go He's Team a Smith. figure skater. Well, I'll skate with you. It'll be fun. I entered us in a little couples competition down at the rink. At this part of our routine, I want you to do a sow cow from a Mohawk entry. Stan, it's not the Olympics. Wait, is it? Since that terrible day, I've been damned to skate with the only partner I deserve. Loneliness. Damn it, Francine, what's so hard about doing it flawlessly the first time? This is the first time in 20 winters we've done anything together. And now you're dumping me to skate with Roger? Pretty good. Acting like a genius. Just go to him already. and the leg man is the same. You pick some boring case, you bicker, and you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. But yeah, yeah, Treebeard. I don't, um... Uh... All I got is what you see, FX3. Dad! We're coming for you! How do we get in there? I thought there was something fishy about all this, Legman. We skip the shit leave here. Oh, it took first. But that ain't gonna last long. Somebody probably come along and get a score of like. Oh, 587 or something like that. Um, uh, I took six. Top score was uh 1.3 billion. Sure. Of course, I can't complain too much. All the scores in this tournament are fairly close. Hundred and nineteen billion. Sure.
It's not a good way to start. Nope. That's the problem. If it don't go all the way over, it's gonna go all the way straight down the middle. No, try to catch the ball. I guess I shouldn't have bothered. goes one there it goes. yeah there it goes I'm gonna try to lock a second ball if you can it should be a double jackpot didn't do it. And. Nope. Went right by me. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Yeah, there it goes, right down the fucking middle. mail on ball three.
No. Um. Yeah, Sundance. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually preferring this version of this show than I am the uh, pinball arcade version. As long as the ball ain't doing that shit. This crap. I am not a supply firm. Oh, you should leave ah, this part of the facility. The holograms show the path you need to follow. I am not a supply train. Gold lost. And these loot, these loops have an issue with them. I am not a supply firm. That's fine. You ball, can keep, rip ball keeps trying to drain on me anyway, so. I am not a supply firm. Starting countdown. You should leave this part of the facility. Oh. Hey, Babs. The holograms show the path you need to follow.
Nice, Joe. Initiating holographic projection. Data log collected. Remote presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. At 23 mil, it felt like it should have been a lot more. Well, ninth place out of 22 people. Yeah, I can't complain too much. shot on that one. Guys are kind of slim. So I'm thinking this is actually going to be a uh, tournament mode.
kind of a jumpy ball. Yep. Just Much. Enjoy the film. Well, the way things are looking right now, I might just say fuck it and go straight to Zachariah. I actually had better luck, uh, actually had better luck at Zachariah yesterday than I did on, uh, Pinball Arcade and even FX3. Avatar moment. No, I'm trying to catch the ball. Catch the ball. Okay, I'll tilt my way out of this. Yep, that's how I play.
Oh, there goes one. Lamp deck. Oh, so much for that. Lamp deck. Yep, avatar moment. Yeah, I can't stop making that center spinner shot, but now that it's lit. Yes, you are, cuz. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Leaving so soon. Yeah, I know. Where could Whisper be? Avatar moment. Hell, even a uh, 62 mil is uh, easily beatable. Sure would love to play this tournament, but uh, I guess he went ahead and locked this one so he could feel good about himself. Yay, 377,000.
forgot what he had in here. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with this one. make a tournament if you're gonna make a tournament and then you're gonna uh, you're gonna lock everybody out except yourself it's really not much point in uh, doing a tournament to begin with yeah I kind of like this one too nobody's actually played it he just he opened it but he's not doing anything on it for that participation trophy apparently I welcome you to our family and our brotherhood golden apple acquired all saved Asgard the Golden Realm. Fantastic! In the name of Odin, the Allfather, may nope. Asgard never fall. And I might be intentionally tilting the table on this too. The bumpers are kind of a bad arrangement. Yeah. Many of those, yeah, you don't want to start a mode. Come, my child, go play with your uncle. Left kick back activated. I search her, rise again. Kick back. Watch out. Surtur stirs, my son. Only evil can come of this. Sons of Asgard, I seek to conclude our ancient battle. Surtur, I will send you back to the pit that spawned you. Ball save activated. Awesome. Mighty. Mighty. Gods. March to Ragnarok. 
Well, I have no idea. Apparently that was it. Left kickback activated. Not so much for that. Back to the slime from whence you came, beast. Dare you challenge the fire lord of Muspelheim, son of Odin? Nope, that was a bad hit. I guess Alan, it don't matter. I Plus, there's only 10 the seconds Lord left. Asgard, and with the destroyer armor, my goal is within reach. All thy limitless fury shall come to naught before the power of Mjolnir. Watch out! Flashing blue. Amazing. Watch out. Yeah, I don't think I can shoot combos when I'm in a mode. Yep, they're all gonna start going in the left out lane. Um, I think what I have to do in this mode, I don't know if you can see it, but the flipper at the far left, I have to get the ball over there. said you don't want to start a mode on this table Kickback. Uh, shouldn't have bothered looks like this is gonna be a pretty short turning run It's like I said it's like I said a few moments ago too it's it's a good table for combos but one if you can't keep up that combo can't do much if you start a mode you, you know you gotta you have to make some wonky shots and considering most of the time that I most of the time I can't hit what I'm aiming at so modes pretty much kill it especially when you're on a time mode So it looks like the way it's looking right now. Let me uh, type something down real quick. Um, if it comes to it, I've got a feeling it's going to. Um, just like I said, that. That's it for tournament. That's it for tourney. So, I'm going to be starting up some randos. 
Um, the way the way and the way I'm playing right now, probably not gonna be doing randos very long. If uh, if I was to toss a number out there, if uh, if I'm in, if I'm playing pinball arcade, having not even streamed for like an like an hour, I might just go ahead and I'll play Zachariah anyway. Just so this ain't no like like two or three hour stream, like a real short one. Hello, Bob's Burgers. Classic park slingshots. Abort, abort. Not a good way to start. Nudge. goes in the left out lane. while it lasted. You two have homework? No. Good. Because you're going down to the pier to hand out flyers. You two have homework? No. Good. Because you're going down to the pier to hand out flyers. And in order to light a kickback, light the kickback, you gotta shoot that far right loop, which goes into the upper ramp, and then make that shot just for one stinking kickback. So, here's a bunch of numbers. And they look random, but they're my phone number.
It's like I won't be doing much more than this. done better no I thought I had gotten as high as like like around 75 mil on this table before but apparently not yeah beat my previous There's got to be like a one ball or a short one or something. Yeah, I don't want to spend all day on this one. Plus, with a... Uh, yeah, plus with a score like of like 103 million... Oh, thank you, Babs. With a score of like 103 mil, that one's going to be a pretty tough one to beat. I want to see if I can beat my uh, score of 27 mil. Jurassic Park slingshots. that periscope up what I'm really aiming for is that uh, bank of targets at the back left part of the table periscope. got it I need to do that one more time and we got multi-ball Oh, 
all this crap. I think uh, combos and everything else are turned off. Nope, went right by it. Yeah, that's a stupid mode right there. No, not because I lost it, but it's just... Collecting samples, one of these circles is lit. When, when you get the ball on it, that crane that you saw, you have to get it exactly on top of it. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. So, if I could get that one more target at the back left of the table, um, it should be multi-ball. Yeah, that last target, get that, and then it's a multi-ball. Got it. So. so let's hope this ain't gonna be no fucking 10 second multi ball. No, trying to catch the ball. one nope didn't work didn't work nope so much for that gotta do it all over again all right. okay I have to look at something what I'm looking for. We have to drop target back again. Oh, okay. So. it up.
All right. Um. One more target back there for another multi ball. Nice. Got it. Now feed me. Fails. Jackpot. Never fails. Never fucking fails. It's like when it's not multi ball, the ball hardly goes in the alt lanes at all, but when it's multi ball, it's like they all make a beeline for it. on the score in there. Yeah, never fucking fails. God damn, it's like they put magnets on the sides during multi-ball or something. It's like they put fucking magnets on the sides of the table during multi-ball. I guess, uh, not having magna saves on the sides don't help either. I wish I could hit that center spinner. You know, the one that's like kind of right in the middle there. In the middle of a mode, uh, Watch out. kind of an issue. Yeah, because you can't just simply ro roll the ball over it. The ball basically has to land exactly on it. beat my previous.
complain too much. Reverse gravity right there. Okay, that was a mm. fuck job. All has yeah. A... In case you guys didn't see what happened, that uh, that pumpkin ball exploded like right next to my main ball. I think that was a table bug. It caused the ball to literally kind of like reverse itself back up the ramp and then straight down the middle. I don't think it was supposed to do that. This is what you want to be aiming for. The uh, upper play field and the uh, upper right. You fill up those uh, red spots, you'll get a, you'll get a uh, chunky score.
Okay, I guess not. No, get out of there. Cell phone was trying to shut off on me. Oh, well, 34 mil. I think this. Yeah. I beat my previous, but not by much. Needs to be a short one. Fantastic okay. four. Here I come. Get out of my way. Hmm. Skill shot. Nope. Lamp deck. Close the combo. Easy, easy. Oh no. That's fine with me. Oh, this is tournament, yeah. Well, let's... Yeah, I... Fucking ball is coated with Teflon. It seems like the damn table's at a 45-degree angle. You may just as well be playing Pachinko at this point. Getting in there. Ball saved. 
If you can hear this message, you are in a danger area. Sorry, honey, you're on your own. Oh, I actually backhanded that. We got a direct order from the If you can hear this message, you are in a danger area. Awesome. Ball saved. Lamp dick. I know, right? So that's pretty good. I'm Wheels. Together, we're Wheels and the Leg Man. You're the Leg Man. Truth is, I do have big stuff going on. Good, uh, good free run. Acting like a genius. Snot's great! We're totally best friends now! I'm Wheels! Together, we're Wheels and the Leg Man! You're the Leg Man. The Decider! That is classic! I am loving this! Yeah. Every wheel that fucking shot the right same. there in the middle of the you table still can't hit it. Case, you bicker, then you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. Your associate. If you want him back alive, we will trade him for the key. You're running out of time. Crash test dummy? But they told me. This is a real business. Surprise! You're running out of time! I thought there was something fishy about all this, Lakeman. Maybe you're in charge there, where they don't serve grenadine. But out here, I'm the law. 
here in McFreely Town, Royville, Rogersburg. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, this is my town. Right by me. Curse my slow ass reflexes. And it's lovely. Damn, I look good in this. I'm Shot eater. Together we're wheels and the leg man. You're the leg man. Some way at some point in time. So look sharp. Hey, you gotta bring oh, that one not enough. One enough. Yeah, not even close. Not this one again. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I got a table that has copyrighted music. So I'm gonna have this going in the background. This is a uh, Japanese music. Pretty obvious. Can't remember the name. Um, King Spider, uh, Murder Box. I got it. Shoot up the middle. Oh, never mind. He moved a uh, little bit away.
like turn it down a little bit. Not no jackpot for Joe. Lamp deck. Save the day again. Don't everybody thank me at once. Um, my computer can't handle it. It's just like, it's just an entry level gaming computer. I think, um, technically I have it, but I can play maybe one game on it, but it has a, it's got a severe lean to the right. Oh, also, I thought, um, I thought you said, uh, Pinball FX. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, but I've got VPX, but I can only, I only got one table, but like I said a few moments ago, it's got a severe lean to the right. I don't know what to do to fix it. 
I'm not very pinball tech savvy. Gotta shoot up the middle. Got it. Okay, religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side. I think that's where I looked. I was reading a damn, damn airplane cockpit. what to do there. Joy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy.
ticket. Oh, this is suicide. There's nowhere to go. Got it. Nope, it went the wrong way. Far over. I gotta hit the other way. The possibility of successfully navigating the asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Damn it. That was my fault. Double flipper bitched myself. Wrong way. All right, right where I want them. Now I just gotta get the ball in the right flipper. Save the day again. Got it. Don't everybody thank me at once. Poke your religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side. Probably gonna be my last table for FX3 here. The way it's been going. Yep, fuck that one up. How to move the crane downward. Magnus save activated. Save the day again. Don't everybody thank me at once.
No idea what to do here. Something's lagging. That worked almost too good. I gotta, I gotta switch albums. Oh, bright light. I had it. So that was it on that album. So I'm going to go ahead and um, have this playing in the background as well. Slaves of Saturn. So I gotta... Okay, I got to I got to type something down real fast.
normally I just leave the music running for multi balls and modes, but considering I've been on, I've managed to retain this multi ball for a long time, I'll go ahead and just shut the music off. Then after multi ball, I'll turn it back on again. And then, let me back up a bit. For those that don't know, tables that have copyrighted music, I have the option turned off, but the silence from these tables drives me up a fucking wall, so I gotta have some music going in the background. But yeah, usually they play off. Uh, they play music during multi balls and modes, but usually with the way I play, they don't last long, so there's hardly any point in constantly going back and forth uh, turning on and off the music. So. Hit the broad side of a barn. Whoops. Okay. So, end of that multi ball. Back up here. Ah, fucked it up. Got a twitchy finger. Happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy. Oh, I almost double flipper pitched that. Release the information in R2 is still. Whoops. Wrong button.
Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So, most certainly screenshot in that sucker. So, gotta do a little bit of behind the scenes work. Okay, but that's gonna conclude the FX3 part of the stream. Uh, gonna go on an intermission, and once all that is said and done, then it'll be Pinball Arcade. This one here is going to be an oldie, but a goodie. I think this uh, video here came out about five or so years ago. It's from a... Yeah, five years ago. A channel called Play Test Play. Or, no, Game Test Play, I think it is. Yeah, I'm busy playing Pinball FX3, and I thought I'd take some time to break down all the tables that I purchased so far. First, let's take a look at the freebie. Sorcerer's Lair is a forgiving table with clear objectives and a variety of stuff to accomplish, along with two additional play fields. You can access the wizard by back. simply playing each of the six missions, which can be initiated by hitting the three targets in the back and entering the cellar. If you're trying to set a competitive score, you need to complete the task to collect obsidian stones, which act as multipliers at the end of the final mission. There are plenty of multi-ball opportunities, and hitting a six-way combo lights an extra ball. A solid table for noobs, but some of the dialogue is corny, which might give the wrong impression that pinball is for little kids. When we all know that most children are too distracted to appreciate pinball nowadays anyway. Step aside, you old pile of rotten wood. Mars is another noob table. Great for the uninitiated, but also demands skill if you want to see all the features. The ball is easy to keep up and missing your shots usually doesn't trip you up. Kickbacks are easy to activate, but the animation takes up way too much time. Mars is prone to long, drawn-out sessions, and I'm talking hours. But completing all the missions is still challenging enough to keep pros engaged, and the chill music helps prevent fatigue. There are some cool effects like zero gravity, and if you play long enough, you might even get blue balls. Don't forget to take a dump beforehand because you're gonna be on Mars for a very long time. Tesla is a table I have a love-hate relationship with. The music is great and the shots have a nice flow, 
but if you want to score big, you need to focus on beating your missions by completing the magnetic mini play field. The only problem is reaching this area is tough. It can be taken at a weird angle by the top left flipper, or if you make a fast and clear shot around the right orbit with the bottom left flipper, you can simply hold the left button and the ball will arc into a vertical up kicker, which feels pretty cool when you pull it off. My favorite experiment is the chain reaction, where you have to knock the balls that hobble out until you get a four ball multi-ball going. You can crank out some big points and best of all, the mission isn't timed. El Dorado is an elegant table with a few tricks up its sleeve. The left flipper has a secret hole underneath, and there's a release hatch right above it that spits out balls and can catch you off guard. There's a couple of extra play places like the gold search and saw blade challenges, but most of the time you're going to be aiming at the stone idol to start adventures, which is also where you start multi-ball after hitting two targets by way of the top left flipper. Having two or three balls on the table is pretty common, and keeping them in play is quite manageable. Hitting the bumpers will open up the cave sinkhole, which can activate kickbacks. I used to pronounce this word shaman until I started playing pinball effects. There's some fun to be had in shaman, but it's mostly a joke. The top half of the table is obscured by the upper play field, which in itself is kind of pitiful. And the volcano feature is a bit of a letdown. And the missions are shameful. I like the three whirly gigs on the lower part of the play field. I wish there was more of that in other tables but it's incredibly easy to keep sinking your ball into the middle drop holes. Feel free to suggest a reliable method of hitting all three juggler sinkholes so that everyone can laugh at you for taking this table seriously. You can bet your life that you'll never see the wizard mode in V12. The main idea is to upgrade each car part five times. The manifold alone takes 12 attempts to upgrade once, and that's assuming you never screw up. V12 was designed for masochists and made by people who hate you. Which is a shame because everyone likes cars. The only way to earn an extra ball is through a six-way combo followed by the sinkhole. But if you activate the combo time bonus, it'll be more difficult to upgrade your tires because you need to hit the left ramp or exhaust orbit out of a combo state. The whole thing is a mess. So if you want to complete this table, I suggest you quit your job and leave your family because you won't have time for them anymore. Excalibur is a table with lots of style and substance. There's a bunch of stuff hidden around the nooks and crannies of this wide and busy play field. You can load up the catapult to launch at the castle, battle knights and invaders, or enter a jousting competition. The ball is easy to catch so you can plan your shots if you want. But there's always the option to shoot for the tricky Merlin ramp and lock some balls if you're feeling cocky. You don't wind up in the bumpers too often and starting multi-ball is a challenge. Completing all five night missions is essentially completing the table. But there's so many ways to approach Excalibur, which makes it one of my favorite games. Epic Quest is a must-play for anyone who likes pinball or RPGs. Nope. Leveling up your dude is a nice incentive to keep playing, but keep in mind that acquiring epic items is more important when fighting enemies. The flipper on the top left corner is unique where you can pass through the Orcanian ramp and collect a scroll or initiate a battle. You can lock a ball by hitting the smash target three times and go for the skill shot again for some big points. This also activates a ball save. There's a wide variety of strategies to discover, and uncovering the bestiary and battling the monsters is a great theme. Princess Multiball is a great way to score points, and racking up jackpots is epically satisfying. Paranormal looks like a table that could have been licensed with the X-Files. But instead, we got an incredibly unique Zen original with some stellar features. There's a haunted house on the backboard which extends the game vertically, a flipper on the lower inside cabinet that shoots inwards, and a rotating cube with four magnetic and mechanical mini play fields that unlock four unique multi-ball missions, and ultimately the wizard mode. This used to be my favorite table until my ball got stuck in wizard mode while the cube was rotating. I almost lost 90 minutes of my life. Thankfully, the table eventually fixed itself, probably because of the cool music. If you're struggling with the haunted house, make sure that you're holding the flippers most of the time. Yeah. The magnet should be activated and released at a rhythm to create a swinging momentum. I would be lying if I told you I knew what the hell I was doing on this table half the time, but I still you're enjoy sure it whenever I sink into earth defense. 
You need to hit the robot drop targets to gain access to the missions. Completing these missions earns a medal. You can also earn medals by completing assignments like decreasing the threat level three times and starting an airstrike multiball. Furthermore, you can earn medals through objectives like Rage Combo and Panic Multiball. Earth Defense looks simple on the surface, but it's actually pretty complex and intricate, especially for a table without any bumpers. Wolverine pisses me off. Playing this table in time tournaments is especially frustrating yep. because if you don't take on the Sentinel, you're pretty much low tier. Yep. Tables with high score yep. priority in one area make everything else feel like a waste of time. Yep. Like this stupid wheel yep. in the center. That's a time suck right there. Multiball isn't that central to early play, but you'll need to activate it if you want to unlock wizard mode because you need to defeat the samurai. Dropping the ball on the three red dudes is pretty cool, and if you lose a ball, the table goes dark and allows you to redeem yourself but it only prolongs the agony. Iron Man is a modest table whose wizard mode isn't as tough to reach as you might think. No, so you just gotta hit keep hitting that hole, the but then you have to actually the sinkhole to begin the a battle. Most of the objectives are clear with blue highlights on the ramps yeah. you want to shoot for. One of the missions requires you to hit the bumpers at the end, so aim for the orbits. There's also this secondary play field in the top right corner that surprised me. Spoiler alert. Once all six missions plus the side objectives are complete, you take on the boss. It only took me four attempts to reach him, and I beat him on the first try, but I read a lot of people struggled with this. Maybe Iron Man was harder in previous versions. Let me know in the comments. Spider-Man is one of the most well-known superheroes, so it's no surprise that his table got a really good treatment. The different events that activate when you take on the Goblin and Dr. Octopus are pretty straightforward, and they increase in difficulty each time you win. You can even fight multiple villains at once. My favorite stage is Mysterio's, where the flippers reverse. You can try turning your controller yep. upside down and hitting the trigger. I learned with your this thumbs, from them. Or you can just slam both at the same time. Super jets will happen, and bumpers are easy and safe to hit. So bring that super bonus jets along are with a to get to. for an even higher score. And make sure you hit the goblin with the pumpkin. Blade is a really cool table that goes from day to night and features a couple different ball variants, including the awesome UV multi-ball. There's different... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good there. Yeah. Need to move along. So, gonna go ahead and start firing up Pinball Arcade. Alrighty, so, uh, for those that don't know, uh, for Pinball Arcade, I typically play at random tables. And unless I have a very good reason for doing so, I don't play the same one twice. Okay, buddy, go over. And, alrighty, uh, now for this one here, there's copyrighted music, so... So that's got to go, and um, just like I did on Pinball FX3, or oh, wrong one. Got to have that going in the background, Slaves of Saturn, because again, um, I I could turn the table music off, but the silence is going to drive me up a freaking wall, so I need to have some music in the background.
And for those that are wondering what music, what music is, what the music is, it's uh, it's Lagrange by ZZ Top. I think there's something else too. I can't remember what it was. Shifted up, not down. I think I missed it. Oh. I should be all the backhanded. Didn't happen. Predicted. Nope, didn't work. So. Bye bye, multi ball. Okay. And uh, one common theme that you are going to see uh, most of the tilts that you see are intentional. I'm at a point where I don't I don't care to sit there and sit through the whole end the ball bonus fanfare crap. Especially if I suck ass on my current ball, like you know, like if the ball literally goes from the plunger straight to the drain. Yeah, I don't want to stick around for that. Just let's just go on to the next ball. Get the ramp go I mean kick back on. So I'm guessing you have to beat the wizard mode in order to relight the kickback. I don't want to 
I gotta skip this one. It's not a bad table, but um, it would take me forever and a day just to get the family mode turned off of it. So. Uh, okay, again, not a bad table, but every day I'm getting the same. I'm or every day I keep getting this table. It's again, it's not a terrible table, but it's definitely not a favorite. But again, it's I keep getting it, so I'd like to like to play something a little different. Live to ride. Ride well, to live. today is a day for copyrighted music. So once again. Nope. Nope. I think this is it, too. Even with the uh, table music turned off, it's playing the copyrighted music anyway. I can't have that. And uh, in case, for those that are wondering what my deal is with copyrighted music, I like exporting my video, my stream videos to YouTube. Now, Twitch itself, as far back as I can recall, Twitch actually doesn't have an issue with this... Uh, with its music. Despite the fact that it's, you know, digitized pinball table music, Twitch is fine. It's YouTube that has the problem. So, exporting these to YouTube would actually copyright claim my videos. So, yeah. But again, this is one of those tables where it's, I turn the table music off, but it still plays it anyway. And it's... it's I'm kind of silly having my own background music and the table mu the the copyrighted music going at the same time. You you kind of got you kind of get the idea. So, so this one is a no can do. Help me! Help me! Adam. Um, yeah. The center drop targets, take them down in order. That's the big one. Yellow target on the right. Hitting that. Or, the yellow target, it's right next to the upper right flipper. That upgrades us better. That's usually what I go for on this table. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Try again. Taking down the center drop targets in order, it jacks up your multiplier straight to 5x. If I'm right on that, I should be. Not, not trying to be lazy or anything, but I don't. I don't want to explain too much about this table if this table is just going to be a quick three and out. It just it feels like I'm wasting effort. Death dive. Same thing here. There's actually a fair amount to talk about, but if this table's gonna be a super quick three and out, it, yeah, it's a waste of words. Well, there goes one.
either the white targets on the right or the flashing target up back there, the captive ball. Not gonna happen, not in five seconds. Yeah. Kinda got fuck out there. Oh, no captain ball for me. Okay. Upper left, if I can get there. Nope. Got it. Well, I had it. Then I lost it. Just barely. Yeah, I had to let that one go. Oh, almost double flipper bitched it. Added on over there. Might take a while. It's gonna be kind of hard to explain because I need my hands free. I'll do the best I can though. If for those that haven't noticed how this table works, if you look in the upper right corner, um, it's a timer-based table. Oh, for those that don't know, this is a table that never made. I think some tables were produced, but they never they were never actually sent out into the field. You know, they weren't sent out to any arcades or anything like that. They were made, but never distributed. Um, but, like I said, it's a timer-based table. I think as long as multi-ball is active, where you can have, you know, obviously, at least two balls out there, every uh, drop target, from what I'm seeing, increases your timer by two seconds. I, you might get some kind of bonus timeage for taking down a whole bank. But that's, but that's the big, that's the big thing. Keep multi-ball as long as you can. When you lose multi-ball, that's when the timer starts ticking down. Um, in order to restart multi-ball, you might have seen what happened a few moments ago. If you hit that captive ball at the back of the table, if you can hit that, that'll restart multi-ball. Um. The three white targets at the back right of the table, if you could smack them, 
what you can see kind of see the pink lights or the pink the pink circles in the upper left and upper right um if you can hit the, again the three white targets at the back it lights up one of them i don't know which i can't remember um there's a single white target next to the upper right flipper if you can hit that again i don't know which one of the which one of the gates that it lights up but yeah if you um so you hit the white target hit whatever um whatever whatever gate is lit that will also restart multiball center of the table you can kind of see the flashing lights every time you take down a bank it lights one of them light the entire thing kind of resembles pinbot um you'll get an extra squirrel basically an extra ball so, i'm am again not trying to be lazy but i'm kind of saying this under the assumption that i'm still going to be playing a while longer it feels like I'm competent enough to do that. Of course, like, like what you might have heard um, several odd, several odd minutes ago on FX3. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So, so during multi ball. All right. Okay. Upper right. Oh, something else. If you lose your ball during this period, you lose everything. You get a you get a score bonus. Um, all that timer you built up, it's all for not. Got it. And it also looks like if you restart multi ball by one of those gates, it's only a two ball multi ball. If you smack the captain ball, then it would be three ball multi ball. I, it's what it looks like. All right, so. I need to complete two more yellow banks. They're at the back of the table. And that will give me an extra ball. And, um, and no, um, completing banks. Oh, damn, I thought I'd get it. If it's not multi-ball, taking down um, any more drop targets does not increase the timer. So, yeah. There we go. Got it. Also, during multi-ball, got an extra ball. But during multi-ball, um, hitting those white targets does not turn the gates on. So it's it's like you're almost playing two different games with this table. It's like a day and night day and night cycle. I'm sure that's the right word.
Got it. Yep, this time I hit the cap to ball, so it's three ball, multi ball. Got it. Back to this. the whole timer. Luckily, I only lost 17 seconds. No, oh, double flipper bitch, that one. All the time, get pissed away. Cell phone trying to shut off on me.
believe it or not. I've kicked some pretty serious ass on this table. It's a beautiful day on the farm. Okay, can't do this one. Um it's too graphics intensive. It'll uh, yeah, it'll clog up uh, my stream will lag big time. Clogger. Same thing. There's actually a fair amount to talk about on this table, but I'll wait till I get a level where I feel comfortable or if I feel confident on this table. I'll explain more. Sorry to sound like a broken record, but it, I don't, not trying to be lazy, but I'm trying to avoid another Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's a table with a shit ton of stuff that you have to talk about on there. And I actually did that, just did this long form, long winded explanation. But then when I started on the table, pew, 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 a quick three and out, so. Waste of effort and the people don't get to see what I'm talking about because if I'm doing that shitty on a table, there ain't no point sticking around. Extra balls lit at the left hole. Feels like I'm doing okay. So what you saw there, the extra ball that I just got. Um, got to take down the uh, Gorgar -gor banks of drop targets. But you have to take them down evenly. You can't just focus on one bank or the other. So you take down both banks three times. Extra balls lit in the uh, left hole. I th And I think you can only get one extra ball per ball. I act, and believe it or not, I've actually done it. Any more extra balls that you get on that one ball are wasted. So. And big target, I actually, actually I think it's just the, uh, the right spinner. It's now lit. This is one of those tables where kind of a wonky mechanic. When your end of ball bonus gets to like 10,000 10, or something like that, the right spinner is lit. But when you get it to 20,000, it shuts off. So, yeah. Weird and wonky window. Nope, it turned off. So, uh, I guess 
Please hit that snake back there. But again, extra ball is lit. But it's there's no point in going for it. Also, um, taking down banks, also taking down the uh, drop target banks, bucked it up. Was it going to be a, it was a double flipper, bitch. And not once, but twice, so I guess that's all I'm going to get. Oh, wait, that was ball two, ball two. Focus on the uh, back bank. Made a bad call. One of my all time faves, Central Park. Thanks for dropping by, Babs. See you next time. That's what I'm aiming for. Oh, looks like it's gonna be a quick five and out.
locker is open. Let your aim be true. Oh, all broadside for me. Oh. Yeah, I gotta tilt this one. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long, um, a long cutscene. That didn't work. So, multi ball, as it kind of shows here, we locked the balls. Now you got three ball, multi ball. Um, I believe you just hit flashing shots. Much for that. Should have been extra ball. Yep. Shiver me, that matters. Not so much for that. Fuck that up real good. So, now that thing's ship is lit, yeah, I really do need to get in that locker. Which probably gotta happen because the shop's lit. This is where you get most of your points. Guess that ain't gonna happen. I got 
hit the center broadside. Watch for that. And uh, each center shot you make is worth more points than the previous. So like I said, this is where you're gonna get a lot of your points from. That's fine. Ball is gonna go straight down the middle anyway. Or for extra ball, I wish we could not get it. Miss the ramps. Shiver me timbers. And a fucking out drain. Don't want no damn video mode on this table. Ball is gonna drain straight down the middle anyway, so. Yeah, it actually didn't register. Fucked it up. Ah, fucked it up.
Oh, guess I'm not gonna be hitting anything. So as you can, I guess I, I guess I can explain a little bit about a multi-ball. Just you probably guys, you guys probably see me doing it. Just aiming for that far left saucer. Every time you hit that, it's gonna light up one of the uh, in or one of the in or out lanes. You light up all those um, in and out lanes. Lock is lit. And you lock a ball in there. Multi-ball starts. And then the goal being get relock both of them balls then you'll have um then you'll have three ball multi ball that's when you start um you start shooting the flashing shots <sighs> um the center of the table you might have seen it um sink ship i can't remember exactly what you had to do to light it but that is a big goal light up sink ship when you do that you might have shoot see me shoot that ball into the locker where uh, you have to, sh then you'll you'll have that cannon shoot the ball straight into the middle. You'll pro you probably noticed me getting 20 mil, 30 mil, 40 mil, etc. That's what that's what happens when you when you spell sink ship. I think you get sink ship. You get the letters when you're uh, during multi ball. Now it's worth 50 mil. So you can keep doing this. Spell off. Spell lock. Which is actually a lot easier and safer than actually, you know, trying to get the ball in the uh, in lanes. You don't want this. I'm not gonna fuck my controller up for this. Not worth Swim, it. You build, rat. Good table run, but I've definitely done better. And that is something else I forgot to mention a long time ago. Um, once that very ball is ended, I just make a beeline and get the fuck out of there. And just get out of there and go on to the next table. I don't stick around for the whole match screen or the whole fanfare and stuff, so.
show off. Welcome to the side show. This is Hot Show Sam. Jurassic Park Sling Shots. I am the Ringmaster. Defeat me for the Ringmaster Marvel. Which you probably won't because you suck at pinball. The blue Marvel is yours. Well, I got a ball save. I didn't know. Don't play at all. Usually you don't get a ball. Usually your ball. Usually you only get a ball save at the start of the ball. Not when a ball drains immediately after, like, a mode starting. I didn't register. Guess I registered. Guess I'd actually counted. You trade animals well. You trade animals well. We got lag. Didn't register. Jackpot and Rudy. Oh, went right by me. Ball save trigger there at the, at the. It looked like a ball save trigger for the moment. You just crossed over into the. Oh, this is one of those. What's so fucking great about this table again? You the yeah, I'm one of those rare ones. I don't get the appeal of this table. It just kind of goes over my head. Which 
is where you don't want the ball. So, right loop. Good waste of a mode. You can barely see it. It's flashing red at the very back right of the table. That's what I'm aiming for. Lamp deck. Again, you don't want the ball in the bumpers. In town square. Time is a one-way street, except in the twilight zone. I guess that was it. Oh. I just skipped the skill shot because I have no skills, so. Lamp, dick. The ball lock. Quick, miss the ball lock. I'm not expecting it. I think it's multi ball. Uh, yeah, that was some stinky ass bullshit. Well, there went that. Lamp dick. Gonna drain anyway. Dance with the devil at your own risk in the twilight zone. Don't touch the door, don't touch the door. 
Oh, damn, that's multi bomb. Okay. Oh, so what are. Seems kind of weird. I mean, that ramp was just, just a little, simple, little white, white flashing arrow. That's it. I'm surprised that actually, um, that starts multi ball. You figure it'd be a big old fan for, you know, like a big old flashing orange thing or, you know, like flashing red or, you know, something that really jumps out. Yeah. Hit here for multi ball. Hit here for multi ball. You know, that kind of thing. Got lag. Aim for that center ramp. Well, got it on the first try. glorified ball save. <laughs> I don't bother with the skill shot because I have no skills. So. Greed. Missed the flashing targets. We have a tilt bug. So Missed the slot machine. No, nope. trying to catch the ball. Just kind of meandered on in there. that.
Oh. This is no ordinary gumbo machine. Same, same place. Aim for the uh, right loop. Duh. Should be Powerball pretty quick. Powerball. Got it. Oh, that's rare. So much for that. Whoa, you mean, you mean there's like actually a ball save on this? Whoa, the wonders never cease. Wait a minute, I might have actually gotten my initials. I gotta, I gotta do some behind the scenes work real quick. Right light. Almost done. No, I'll probably forget later.
some very wonky flippers on this. I mean, you thought I couldn't hit what I was aiming at before. You ought to see me on this table. Right ramp. Well, twice in a row. That's rare. It's like, no matter how carefully I aim, I, I still don't, there's times I don't even get anywhere near what I was shooting at. Right ramp. that green flashing arrow shoot that or the far right hole nope. okay I guess right ramp spinner right spinner next to the bumpers Multi-ball, um, the very same place, the spinner. Oh, so much for that. Again, this is just to get the... This is just to get the ball over with and on to the next one. As far as like losing my end of ball bonus, I didn't do jack shit on that ball, so I ain't getting jack shit for a score, so just let's just move along. Maybe I was spoiled in FX3 with all the time modes that you have. Where your play session is continuous from start to finish with little to no interruptions at all. Left ramp, nope. One of my all time favorite tables here. The table's also great for beginners. Sort of kind of have a skill shot there. That didn't help. Because, again, you don't want to do a full plunge on this because you don't want the ball going in the... Uh, upper left area which looks like it's gonna do anyway whoops I'm bad at skill shots cuz I have no skills it up. Oh, that's right. You don't. That wasn't ball three. In fact, I think there's five balls on this one. Here, I want to try. Wait, wait. Let me try something here real quick.
So apparently this table gets real pissy when you tilt it. It just ends your entire game. Oh, how dare me. One stinking drop target up there. Oh, frickin' time. Yeah, messed it up. Too much. Got it. Oh, flip the score.
Should have tried to ricochet it off that. Off of this. Oh, I keep loving the skill shots, but of course I keep I keep saying too, I do that because I have no skills. There it goes. Oh, good enough for my initials. took third okay That's the best I've done so technically I beat my previous not enough for the number one spot though so I guess what I'll go ahead and do oh you're welcome oh thanks for dropping by man yeah see you next time but yeah and the way it's looking too Chances are I might be shutting off fairly soon, if not going to Zachariah. But yeah, it, I think I'm about in my wind down phase as well. So, but yeah, once again, thanks for dropping by. In fact, now that I think about it, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Zachariah. Now's about as good a time as any. Yeah, at least as of this moment, it used to be Zachariah. I would um, I would only play it. When I was royally sucking ass, because most of the tables on there are basically pachinko machines with flippers. Your skills, or lack thereof in my case, don't matter as much. You'll know what I mean when I get there. But, at least as of recently, that's not so much the case. But it is going to take a while for uh, for it to come up. But uh, with this, I'm only going to be on for like half hour, 45 minutes though. Star God Retro. Understand what I mean? There's your flippers. And this table here is just one of many. And at least for a while... At least for this first part, the game is going to freeze up from time to time. And yeah, the way I have this set up, there's um, infinite, there's no tilting. You 
a nudge to your heart's content. Fuck that up. So, like I said, usually I do Zachariah. Only one I'm really sucking ass, like you just saw. I mean, my... My piss poor pinball skills don't really matter that much because it just. The tables are designed to kind of take that out of the equation. Strike. Might be a restart. Devil Riders Retro Look wow time And those holes in the middle of the table you can lose your ball going in there so
caveman. It's a homebrew table right here. Bunga, bunga. Black Belt, Retro. Yeah, screwed that up. Surprised I am. I'm surprised on the. Uh, I'm surprised I'm in the top 13 percent. Earth, wind, fire remake. Oh God. Tower bonus. Kinda wish you were here, Paragon. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. Super combo. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. Super combo. Super bonus combo. Times three. Shit again is activated. Shit again is activated.
bonus. Skill shot. Super combo. Super combo. And I beat my previous score. Super combo. Super combo. Super combo. Bonus times three. Super combo. Should again is activated. Should again is activated. Double flipper, bitch. Tower bonus. Tower bonus. Skill shot. Combo. Bonus. Bonus, tower, bonus. Combo. Double bonus times two. Triple combo. Super combo. Super combo. Up in and out. Not a bad saucer. Yeah, kind of a shallow saucer over there. It's basically a rollover. Oh, entry beard. Definitely beat my previous six percent. <laughs> yeah, at, at the time um, when I first became affiliate, I was only allowed one emote, so I had to kind of, kind of find a one size fits all. I'll, I'll try to pull it up for you. In case you don't get the reference.
Um, hopefully that should work. Postal to, to remake. remake. I never expected a company like Zachariah to have a. To, I never expected a company like Zachariah to have postal tables. If anything, I'd expect a FX3 to have them. multi ball oh, There goes one and the other. Oh, and call the cops. Space Shuttle Remake. This is the one I'm thinking of. Oh. Yeah, this table's kind of shitty. Yeah, 
that's some bullshit there. It's... Oh, and uh, for those that don't know, Zachariah is my least favorite platform. That shit there is one of the reasons why. Just poor design. So, kickback turns off immediately, and I gotta nudge like a motherfucker to keep the ball from going back there again. Which I did anyway, because I suck. in there because, like I said, I really suck. Which, that's another reason why Zachariah sucks. If you start a mode on this table, everything else is turned off. It's like mm. co combos, everything. Single foul down the middle. Jackpot. Double jackpot. Triple jackpot. Look at the timer. You have almost two whole minutes. Yeah, that's a generous amount of time, but that's actually not a good thing. Because that's also two minutes that I can't do anything else except shoot the mode shots. That's it. Like I said, everything else is turned off. That's actually a mercy killing right there. Hot Wheels Retro. It's like pinball made by people who don't know how to pinball. Beat my previous. Pinball Champ Remake. Probably going to be my last table here. Don't move. <laughs> 
combo. So you live on the east, you live, uh, you live on the east coast then, huh? Uh, for this table, if you can keep it going, keep smacking that, um, uh, that target up there. Bonus times two. And grabbing that, whenever it's lit. Still need to lock one more ball. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, Canadian, huh? Oh what uh I wanna show another reason why I cannot stand Zachariah. I'm hoping you can see this, but a lot of tables have this issue. The slingshots. They're kind of like partially like right out in front of the flippers. This makes catching the ball very difficult. But yeah, this is like pinball design 101. You don't do this. You know, they need to be... Slingshots need to be like right here. Right at the base, just behind the flipper. Because like I said, it's a bitch and a half to catch them now. It's like, do you guys not pinball? Or, let me rephrase it. Do you guys not play pinball? Multi-ball. Don't move. Should have been a jackpot. Triple jackpot. Double jackpot. Double jackpot. So much for that. Game over. Suck, champ. Which you don't want. Okay, that was ball three. Careful. 
okay. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, getting Ready for the ride. starting to get groggy anyway, so yeah. And then um, I still have a gems of war session I need to get taken care of. It's gonna be a new week, so there's gonna be a whole. And let me back up. And it's gonna be a good Ready. week. So there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that's going to be worth my while to do on that game. So yeah, I'm probably going to be on that for a while. So yeah. And then um, then there is the standard post-production work that I have to do on the stream video. So yeah, still going to have a fairly busy morning. And I definitely need to get a nap in there too. But otherwise, hey, thanks for dropping in and hanging off me, everybody. I appreciate that. And good meeting you, Haunted. Um... But I sh yeah, I should be on again tonight though. Uh, my default time is 9 p.m. Uh, that is U.S. Central Time. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.